one of America's most prominent music writers and historians. He uh, has written many books. Let me just mention a few. He, is, he has a marvelous trilogy on American roots music, Sweet Soul Music, Lost Highway, and Feel Like Going Home. His biographies include Robert Johnson, one on Robert Johnson, a new or recent one on Sam Cooke, and then a two-volume biography of Elvis Presley. First volume is called Last Train to Memphis and the Second Careless Love, which I read in the 90s and consider absolutely as fine as biographies as have ever been written, but marvelous uh, insight, not only clearly the best books ever written by Elvis, but marvelous insight into the history of America and the history of American music, and, and not to be missed if you like to read. they I can't recommend them enough. As I said, a, a biography of, uh, uh, of Sam Cooke, but he has written and co-produced a documentary on Sam Phillips uh, called Sam Phillips, The Man Who Invented Rock and Roll, about Sam Phillips, the founder of Sun, and is currently working on a biography, which I, in fact, I can't wait to read. He blogs at his website, petergirlnick.com, Dot com and teaches creative writing during the spring semester at Vanderbilt. So, Peter, it's an honor to have you on the Salary Report. Welcome. Well, thank, thanks so much. I, I really appreciate that. I, I don't know if I can live up to the introduction, but I'll do my best. <laughs> well, it was funny. I was, you know, because we're going to talk today about creativity, creativity, creativity in writing, creativity in music, and broaden out to how that creativity impacts a, a wider creativity in our society. And I was... As I was looking at my notes for this discussion with you, I realized, you know, this man is an entrepreneur because he had a passion and a love, and he created a whole business. And, uh, you know, I don't think you, 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 you apparently never went out and got a job. You kind of just invented your work <laughs> out, of this, <laughs> out of this passion. So uh, you seem to know how to invent, invent your world as well. But... Start us off with how this started. How did you become uh, a person who who really documents and builds the history around this extraordinary period of American music? How did this begin? How did you start? Well, really, it was just it was out of love of the music, and and uh, when I was around fifteen, I just fell into the blues. 